Jiang Hai is an average first-year university student. He doesn't have any huge ambitions or a love for fame and attention. He just wants to keep his peaceful and boring lifestyle. However, he would never guess that his life would suffer dramatic changes after eating some cake. No, it's not diabetes. It's worse, it's the most amazing harem disease, where Cupid basically pulls out a prank and makes him have to fulfill his lover's deepest desires. Jiang Hai enters his university, walks to his classroom, and sits down to look forward to another boring day. The teacher starts the lecture when suddenly a beautiful girl walks in. Zia Zidong is the most popular girl at the university and everyone pays attention to her. She proceeds towards Jiang Hai and tells him that she's three months pregnant with his child. Jiang Hai freezes in shock while others start taking pictures and posting them online. Jiang Hai tries to convince others that he doesn't even know the girl, but everyone starts cursing him and makes him run away to save himself. The school makes an announcement to catch Jiang Hai and all students rush to find him. Meanwhile, the president of the school's athletes club, Tang Xuan catches him. She bullies boys if they dare to tease any female on campus. She also declares Jiang Hai as her lover and asks for an explanation about Zia Zidong. Jiang Hai rushes away from her and runs into Lin Yuan, who calls herself Jiang Hai's wife and mother of his two children. By this point, Jiang Hai has lost his senses and speeds towards the terrace. He tells everyone that he doesn't even know any of those girls and he will jump off the building to prove himself innocent. No one believes him and Jiang Hai falls, but suddenly a light shines from the sky and stops the time. He reaches the ground safely and meets the love goddess Mei Tata. She tells him that the cake Jiang Hai ate the day before was Cupid's chocolate, which caused the girls to assume a love story with him. If Jiang Hai wants to break the magic, then he has to fulfill the most awaited desire of each of those girls. Jiang Hai starts with Zia Zidong, who is crying for him on the terrace and invites her for a meeting the next day. Jiang Hai takes Zia Zidong to hospital to prove to her that she's not pregnant, after which Jiang Hai accompanies Zia Zidong to her house. Though he gets beaten up by the guards, he realizes that Zia Zidong's most desired wish is to spend more time with her father, who rarely comes home. He snatches the phone from the housekeeper and challenges Zia Zidong's father by saying he's the daddy and for him to come and catch him. Just after a few minutes Mr. Zia comes over with several cars and helicopters following him. Mr. Zia brings more guards who beat up Jiang Hai even more. Zia Zidong stops her dad and tells him that it's just a misunderstanding while showing the hospital report. Mr. Zia wonders why this made a fuss. Jiang Hai gets angry at him and says that Mr. Zia wouldn't have bothered to come to see her daughter if there wasn't a big issue. Zidong doesn't need a huge house or thousands of servants. Her happiness lies within just having a simple meal with her dad. Jiang Hai runs after saying this, but his words touch Mr. Zia's heart and he arranges a dinner with her daughter. Mei Tata informs Hei that he succeeded in his first task and the magic from Zidong is lifted now. However, the new memories will still be there, so Zidong remembers the time she spent with Hei the past two days and invites him for a date. Suddenly, another girl named Ayang Zuli interrupts them and kisses Hei. She's Hei's childhood friend who just came back from America and her mom has chased after her to stop her from dating Hei. After confirming a date with Zidong, Hei runs into Tang Xuan, who slaps his face and announces a breakup. Jiang Hei gets angry and shouts that nobody will ever like Tang Xuan because of her attitude. However, Mei Tata tells her that breaking up will not end the magic. Following Tang Xuan, Hei finds her bullying male athletes. Hei proceeds to stop her, and in this attempt he squirts water on her, but she goes away quietly. Tang Xuan is someone who doesn't want to accept her defeat. Meanwhile, Zuli is still persistent in stopping Hei from dating anyone and looks him up in his room on the day of his meeting with Zidong. However, Hei manages to escape from the window and reaches Zia Zidong. They sit down in a restaurant but there's an awkwardness between them. It's the first date for both of them and it's quite different from all that Hei ever imagined. To be friendly, Hei invites Zidong to join the anime festival happening nearby. But surprisingly, they find Tang Xuan there, cosplaying as a maid. Tang Xuan says she saw many girls get bullied in school for their looks. So, she became a masculine, powerful girl to get revenge. Hei admires her efforts, but he believes that Xuan shouldn't hide her true self from others and encourages her to pursue her dream. Xuan says she needs two more girls to compete, so she and Zidong dress up Hei as a girl and name him Yi. Zuli has come to look for Hei but lets him go when she sees he's just fooling around in girly cosplay. Everything is going smoothly, but Tang Xuan's opponents have destroyed her most precious dress that Xuan designed herself. It's the dress she wore on her first win. Tang Xuan gives up and runs away. However, Hei is still determined to help her win. He tries to buy time by acting cute on stage while Zidong is running here and there to find Xuan. 
Ai starts singing a song which gets a little praise, but the audience still wants to see Xuan and creates chaos. Ai asks them to listen and tells them that he came with a friend who hides her true self. Ai thinks she looks best and is most confident when she cosplays. Xuan is listening to all this while standing above the stage and gets deeply touched. Suddenly the railing breaks and Xuan falls into Ai's arms and their costumes change too, by the magic of Mei Tata. The audience assumes that this is all a part of the show, so they start cheering and declare Xuan the winner of the competition. Later, the costume disappears and Ai is thrown out of the dressing room naked. He thanks Mei Tata for her help and goes to drop Zidong at the railway station, after which he rushes back to talk to Tang Xuan to make sure that the magic is lifted from her or not. However, he's unaware that Xuan has developed real feelings for him instead. Later that night, Hei goes to visit his high school teacher, MS, Jai Rin. She's a single carefree lady living in an apartment next to Hei. When she mentions Zuli, it reminds Hei of the whole time he spent with Zuli. They were really good childhood friends, but Zuli started getting jealous when Hei scored better than her. At last, Hei had to purposely take less marks in every test to make Zuli satisfied. Then one day she challenged Hei to take better marks than her, and if he couldn't, then he had to go to America with her. This time Hei gave in to his best and won the challenge. Zuli thought Hei didn't want to go to America with her because he hated her. So she left without him and never looked back. Hei spends the night at Jai Ran's place and the next morning, Hei goes to meet Xuan and challenges her to win against him. The loser will fulfill any wish made by the winner. There are two simple rules. If any of Tang Xuan's team members gets a better grade than Hei on the upcoming midterm, Hei will lose the challenge and will have to do what Xuan says. Tang Xuan accepts the challenge and the battle begins. Hei studies day and night to get the top score. The night before the exam, Hei wants to sleep early, but he finds Zuli outside crying. He goes to console her and drops her at home. As a result, he doesn't seem fresh the next morning. Though everyone thinks Hei will lose, he wins and asks Xuan to wear a maid dress for two weeks as punishment. In fact, Hei has done all this effort so Tang Xuan can experience how it is to live like her real self. Moreover, she has made her fans all over the school with her cuteness already. Tang Xuan goes to scold Zhang Hei for bringing the wrong sized dress for her, but she doesn't get angry at him like always and leaves smiling instead. She is happy, too, for the chance Hei gave her. The next day, Lin Yuan encounters Hei with two kids who call Hei daddy. Mei Tata tells Hei that the kids Xiao Ming and Xiao Hong are real who were created as a result of the wish from the Cupid. For the time being, Hei teaches the kids to call him uncle and tells Lin Yuan to take them home. He will visit them later. Hei hasn't figured out what to do with this information. Suddenly, Lin Yuan tells him the kids are missing after she left them at the school gate. Now Lin Yuan and Hei have to search for the kids around the school. Zidong finds Xiao Hong, who is taking good care of her considering her Hei's niece, while Xiao Ming is causing trouble all around the school. Hei finally spots Xiao Ming, but he is hiding inside the girls' changing room. Xuan finds Hei peeking out of the door and beats him up, calling him a pervert. Meanwhile, Lin Yuan is still waiting for his supposed husband to bring back the children. Hei tries to convince Lin Yuan that her reality isn't real, so the magic can break. But Yuan doesn't seem to be cooperating. At last, Hei has no choice other than going home with Lin Yuan. He meets Yan's mother, who is also under the effect of magic. She considers him an irresponsible son-in-law. Hei eats dinner with them, cleans up, and puts the kids to sleep. In short, he just lived a day as a married man. Suddenly he gets a call from Zidong who asks him to go to the amusement park with her the upcoming Sunday and he agrees. When he hangs up, Lin Yuan also asks him to take his supposed family to the amusement park the same day. At first, Hei tries to refuse Zidong, but then he can't get enough courage to break her heart so he decides to handle both girls. At first, he takes Lin Yuan and the children to different rides in the park even though he's afraid of heights. Then he rushes to meet Zidong as soon as the clock strikes 10. Hei and Zidong sit down on a bench and are awkward again. Zidong had made up her mind that she would confess her feelings to Hei today, but now she can't even gather the courage to say a word. Suddenly, a street photographer requests for a photo that finally brings Hei closer to Zidong and she gives him a kiss. Hei still can't believe what just happened. He has never thought that the school's beauty and the richest girl in town would ever fall for an average guy like him. Hei rushes to the store to buy gifts for Xiao Ming and Xiao Hong and runs into his high school friend. His friend tells Hei that Zuli's abusive ex-boyfriend Du Yu's is coming after her and Hei should protect her. Suddenly, Hei's phone starts ringing. It's Zidong. Hei can't figure out which side he should go to. Luckily, he finds Tang Xuan there and asks her to accompany Zidong, and he runs back to Lin Yuan. The kids want ice cream, but Lin Yuan stops Hei from spending as he doesn't have an income. 
Heya he still wants to make the kids happy and takes part in a quiz competition to win ice cream coupons. Due to his extensive knowledge, he wins easily and they all go to the ice cream parlor. However, Xuan and Zidong catch Heiai with Lin Yuan outside the ice cream parlor. Xuan ties him up to ask for an explanation. Heiai ran into Lin Yuan and decided to console her because she is the child of a struggling single mother. After hearing this, Xuan lets Heiai go with Lin Yuan. This is the reason Lin Yuan has wished for an ideal family with Heiai. It's something she didn't get as a child as his father left them and never returned. Heiai proceeds to spend the rest of the day with Lin Yuan and kids. They also take a family photo together and then Heiai drops them home. Lin Yuan didn't tell Heiai much about her father and Heiai can't dare to ask her mother, so he decides to investigate on his own. He visits the elementary school Lin Yuan studied at. Her homeroom teacher tells him that Lin Yuan's father was affectionate when she was little, but he disappeared after the divorce. Lin Yuan used to wait for him every day at the school gate. This triggers Heiai even more, and he's determined to find her father at any cost. Heiai takes help from his police friend brother Yan to find contact information about Lin Yuan's father. On coming back home, Zuli welcomes him and doesn't let him sleep, making him stay in the bathroom for the next few hours. However, Yan calls Heiai in the middle of the night. He found some numbers that might be Lin Yuan's father's. Heiai couldn't sleep much the previous night, and now he has to call on those 20 possible numbers provided by brother Yan. At first, Mr. Lin doesn't pick up, but on constant tries he finally responds. Heiai tells him he's the son-in-law and yells at him for being a bad father who left years ago and never looked back. But Mr. Lin's reply leaves Heiai in deep shock. Lin Yuan is not his biological daughter. After this, Heiai only has one option left, which is to ask Yuan's mother. She gets mad easily and doesn't tell Heiai anything, but an old lady from the neighborhood saw and tells Heiai everything. Lin Yuan's father was an army sergeant who died before her parents' marriage. Mr. Lin took responsibility for Lin Yuan and her mother, but his parents didn't approve. After being in poverty for some years, Mr. Lin left Yan's mother and never returned. Heiai feels like the situation is not in his control anymore. He feels angry at everyone that messes up Lin Yuan's life. He even argues with Mei Tata, but later he realizes his mistakes and gets determined again to solve this issue. Mr. Lin hasn't turned off that old phone number even after so many years. It's maybe because he still loves his family and wants to get back together again. This little hope has made Heiai hold on. Meanwhile, he's trying his best to keep Lin Yuan happy. After school, he rushes to pick Lin Yuan and the kids up. They are crossing the road when a high-speed bus is rushing uncontrollably towards Lin Yuan. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.